everyone, it's Valerie from Stampin' with Valerie, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. If you are not familiar with me, I like to get that out there so you know. Um, we are going to be playing with a brand new set today. This is called A Curvy Christmas. This is so cute. This is going to be available the 3rd of November until the 4th of January, and you can get a bundle right now that has Curvy Christmas and Quite Curvy, which is the other set here. And you can get the dies that go with it, these Curvy dies. I'll show you those in just a second. And you can get them all at a 10% discount right when it starts on November 3rd for $70.50. Isn't that fantastic? You can get all three of these. It's amazing. All right, so like I said, we're going to be playing with Curvy Christmas. This one will be avail also available in the January catalog, just so you have an idea. And then it's got these fantastic dies. It has all these curvy dies. It has this die here that fits um, the leaves, and you've got the flowers, and you've got some extra little things, and you've got all three of these little birds over here, which I think is fantastic. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you the card I made earlier, and I'm gonna show you how to work with these dies because they're a little different working with this dies and this stamp set. Even though they are meant to go together, you gotta kind of play with them a little bit to get them where you want them. So here is the card I made earlier. Isn't that adorable? Super simple. I used some Sahara sand cardstock. I used Versamark and um, white Stampin' Emboss powder. I added some of our um, metal edge driven in gold and some of the tiny little um, gold glimmer dots, I believe is what they're called. Gold glitter dots, maybe. Let me see. Okay. I haven't used them in a while. Gold glitter dots is what they are. So we'll get started just with cutting our cardstock first. Now, this is our normal size card base. So I just started with a Whisper White card base. I'm just gonna set that aside for now so we can just cut. I have a three inch by five and a half paint piece of this designer series paper oh i forgot to tell you that's part of that bundle is the designer series paper the curvy designer series paper where did i put my paper oh my goodness oh, i'll find it in oh <laughs> right in front of me here it is right in front of me so you've got shaded spruce cherry cobbler and um whisper white and sahara sand in here i'm gonna pull it all out or most of it and of course it's double-sided there is, I swear to you, there is, <laughs> there is Sahara sand in there. Look at all those gorgeous prints. And then the opposite side you have just, so they're all double-sided. They're fantastic, but they make really, really great products. So when you pop on, let me know you're here so I can say hi to you. I see Donna's on. Hi, Donna. How are you? Hope you're having a great one Wednesday evening. I am going to grab my Stampin' and Cut and Emboss machine and I'm going to show you how to line up this die. Now I used this die here that has all the little polka dots in it. Now you have to be careful the way you lay it because one side has that cutting edge on it and one side just has the polka dots. So as you can see on my card, this side is just straight, but then I have those curved and die cut or yeah die cut polka dots right there so when i put this in i cutting edge is this bottom piece and then you're just going to layer it like you do any other die you're going to use layers one and two and then a number number three layer and then put another number three plate on top of it i know look at my plates they look very well used right that's exactly how they're supposed to look very well used and so and sometimes your machine will cr crack and croak when you um, run your dies through. That's how it's supposed to sound. It's okay. Um, when these get to a certain point, you have to replace them. But right now, they're still good. So look at that. It's going to be a little bit different than this one. Because my bottom layer is going to be a little bit thinner. But I'm going to cut a little bit off this top to bring it the top up just a little bit when we get to that point. So let's do some embossing. Ah, one of my favorite things to do as I'm throwing stuff all over. So I'm gonna to want to emboss the top and the bottom, but I will start 
with the bottom. And I found a solution. If you do not have an embossing buddy, use a dryer sheet. I use unscented. Oh, I just bent my paper. <laughs> I use unscented and I just rub it over top of my paper. Look, bent it right back. Looks just perfect again, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to take that. Look at how long that stamp is with those stars and... So ink it really, really well. And then it should fit pretty close along that die. If it doesn't fit exactly, the beautiful thing about these are, you can kind of mold them a little bit. So like I just lifted that up so it would fit a little bit better around there and changed it. You probably didn't see me. I think I was off camera, I apologize. But you can just kind of move it around on your stamp block and mold it to where you want it. Obviously, once you get your Bursa mark stamped on there, just go ahead and cover it with white embossing powder. I'm trying to get most of it back in. It didn't do too bad. All right, and then we'll do the top piece. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to run that dryer sheet over that to get that static off from there. And then I want this may your days be merry and bright to kind of fit right around there. And that's a little bit curvier right there. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna mold it a little bit. Now you don't wanna stretch it too far because you may break it or rip it if you try to turn it too much or it may make your words look a little funny. But you can move it a little bit to get it where you need it. most of that back in there. Yay! Hi Ingrid. Hi Laura. How are you today? Hope you're both having a great day. Put the lid on that just so if I drop this, I only lose a little bit of stamping powder. Not the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's grab the heat tool. I'm going to let that heat up for a second. Um, so other than this curvy die here, the other curvy dies that are in this set are really actually cute. There's one that has like, I guess you would kind of call it, um, I don't know, a filigree or something, I guess. But then you have the little leaves too. I love those little leaves. I haven't even tried them yet, but I'm really looking forward to playing around with this and doing that. All right, so I'm going to do the words first. We'll get that. There, now that my gun's nice and heated up, it won't take very long to get those words on there. Make sure I've got those good and melted at that end. That's good. Grab this one, do this one real quick. So this is my, I've had this for about um, a week, but this is the first time I've really had a chance to play with it. And I'm having so much fun with this little set. I think it's fantastic. And you do, you have to play with it a little bit to figure out how you want to get, how to layer everything. And there are some good ideas on Pinterest right now. Uh, I looked a few up um, and there's some really cute cards on there. And it just depends on how elaborate you want to go with it. So don't stress about it. That's why I went with a simple card today. But I think it looks really elegant when you get it done. All right, I said I was going to cut just a little bit off from this, and I am. I'm just going to layer that up there. I don't even know how much I'm cutting off from it, but I'm just going to set it up there and just cut a little hunk off. Not even, well, maybe a half an inch I cut off. Maybe. And then we have our Whisper White Base. And I had my piece of star paper. There's my star paper. So the first thing I'll do is just adhere this down. Now you could do this either way. Look, at that's a gorgeous pattern too. But I want to go with the stars because I did that stars um, border there. So just adhere it with whatever you want to adhere it with. So how many of you... are ready for Halloween. Are you going to be handing out candy for trick-or-treaters? I know some people are, some people aren't. 
I'm gonna be honest, if I have trick-or-treaters come to my door, I will absolutely hand out candy to them. Now, <laughs> granted, I normally don't get trick-or-treaters. Last year I had two. So, I'll be really surprised if I actually get any trick-or-treaters this year, but I have zero problem with handing out candy to the trick-or-treaters because I figured, you know what? I have to go to the store, I wear a mask. I hand out candy, I'll wear a mask. And that will be just fine. I don't want the poor little kiddos to have one of their favorite holidays taken away from them because of COVID. Now, granted, I don't want little kids going out that are susceptible to catching it either. And I certainly don't want any kids to catch it because they went out trick or treating, but I don't want anyone to catch it for that matter. But I don't have any, you know, I didn't carve any pumpkins this year. I haven't carved pumpkins in so long. My son is 22, and by the time he was, mm, I want to say, 13, he was over it. I was still wanting to carve pumpkins, and he was just like, Mom, I don't want to carve no pumpkins. This is ridiculous. Why would I want to carve pumpkins? I, um, because it's Halloween? Hello? <laughs> but I guess I think that's the difference between girls and boys, because I know when I was 13, I was all about carving those pumpkins. I thought it was fantastic fun, and I like still like to get dressed up and go out trick-or-treating and have fun like that. All right, so this is the metallic edged ribbon. This is, we have it in gold and silver. Now I'm gonna grab the silver and I'm just gonna show you a comparison. If I can grab it. Now the silver is more of a white ribbon and the gold is more of a very vanilla. Now it doesn't say that on the ribbon itself, but you can see it when the two of them are side by side. So just so you have an idea, um, that was one reason I chose the gold because even though silver would be pretty with these stars, I thought the very vanilla kind of went kind of pretty with this Sahara sand. And then I just tied it in a knot. Now, obviously you could do a bow if you want to, but I just thought a knot looked just fine for this card. Let me grab a different pair of scissors to trim the ends off because I don't want to end up with this being all crooked. Using those my other scissors that I use for paper because they just are not as sharp for ribbon, that's for sure. And then I say that and this pair of scissors is not cut neither. There's something stuck to them. It's that kind of day, ladies and gentlemen. But then if your ribbon isn't exactly where you want it because we don't have it stuck down with anything, you can kind of move it around. You can slide it up, down, however you want. And then when you get it where you want it, if you choose to, you can stick a little glue dot to hold that in place. Now, I didn't put a glue dot on my other one, so I'm probably not going to put a glue dot on this one right now. But you can if you want to. And then grab whatever embellishments you want to use. Now, I debated between these gold glitter dots. I also have um, the metallic pearls. Those are in the gold. Those are really pretty. And then these I just thought were a little too much, the gilded gems, which normally I don't say that because I really like these gilded gems. But I thought these were actually perfect because these super tiny ones just go perfect. I just put a couple of smaller ones and a couple of medium ones on here but I think they just fit perfectly on there I just put them like right over top of some of the little dots that we embossed on there and I thought it turned out cute now how we, how do you like that what do you think of that card isn't that adorable super easy you could make a bunch of these in no time you really could and you can see it's just a little bit different, but super similar. Just depends on where you layer that um, curvy die on there. So now I'm going to show you one I was playing with earlier. And I used shaded spruce with that little the little trees. And I did the same thing, but I cut it up a little bit further on the paper. And then I stamped my um, trees. And I had to do the same thing. I had to kind of move them around and shape them but just be really careful so because they can rip 
So just be careful when you're moving them around to shape them. And they aren't going to, they won't do any shape. You can't just put them in a circle. They're not going to do that, you know, but you can kind of make them fit. And then for this bottom piece, I cut one and then I left it a little bit longer than five and a half. And I just glued on each end. So I have a little kind of pocket there. So it's kind of a 3D card. And then I still have a little sentiment to put on there, but I just stamped thinking of you at Christmas and I'm going to pop that up and maybe I'll put some other little red rhinestones or something on here. But I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was really adorable. Um, it's not part of One Card Wonder Wednesday, but it is something I was working on today. So I wanted to show you because I thought it was super cute. So I truly appreciate you joining me today. Do not forget that the designer series paper sale ends on Saturday. My um, birthday month, I don't know what you want to call it, I guess it's a drawing, really ends, you know, per purchases that will qualify you for that end on Saturday. For every $30 you purchase, I will put your name into a drawing to win a Stamparatus. So if you go on ValerieSmith.StampinUp.net, purchase from me, use my host code that I have right here. Um, I will enter you in the drawing and I'm going to do the drawing on Sunday, November 1st. So I hope you get your name in that drawing and I hope you win a Stamparatus. Thank you for joining. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. Bye.